Turkey is not happy about being kicked out of the F-35 program for buying Russian air defense systems. So that means Turkey will try and build its own stealth fighter. Is that possible? Meet the TFX. Turkey and Pakistan are collaborating to design and produce a new sixth-generation stealth fighter aircraft. The TFX stealth twin-engine fighter was first announced in 2016, and the plane is now set to make its first flight in 2023. Turkish Aerospace Industries displayed a full-scale figure of the National Combat Aircraft this February at the Singapore Air Show. What is the TFX? Turkish Aerospace Industries is the prime defense contractor. It should enter service sometime in the 2030s. It is a work in progress, but the wings and fuselage have come together on the manufacturing line. No engines are present in the video, but the Turks aim to go for the General Electric F110 GE129 or F110 GE132 turbofans with afterburners. An indigenously built engine would take too long to produce. The Turkish government announced a competition for a home-built engine anyway, but that could delay the TFX program. The Top Fighter of the Islamic World after Turkey went ahead with its purchase of Russia's S-400 air defense system, Washington removed it from the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter program. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan then turned to Pakistan to develop an alternative. The TFX is meant to replace the country's aging F-16 fleet. Dubbed the first big fighter of the Islamic world, the new fifth-generation aircraft will improve Turkish-Pakistani defense ties and lessen Ankara's dependence on U.S. airframes. Similar to Lockheed Martin's F-35 Lightning II Turkey's TFX is a multi-role aircraft built for air-to-air -air missions. The fighter could also deploy for air-to-ground missions. The jet reportedly hosts cutting-edge radar, ground attack capabilities, network drone control, and an advanced internal weapons bay. Turkey's new jet will have a wingspan of 12 meters and a maximum takeoff weight of approximately 27,000 kilograms. Next year is the goal for a prototype. This prototype could be ready in mid to late 2023, although that is a moving target, as much work is yet to be completed. The Turks had a mock-up built for an air show in 2019, so this is not a new and secretive project. Turkish Aerospace Industries worked on the concept between 2011 and 2013. The first flight is not likely until 2025. The program first gained momentum in 2010. The Turks wanted stealth, fast speeds, and high levels of maneuverability. No F-35 for Turkey. It will likely not have the stealth characteristics of an F-35 or F-22, but Turkey could enter an exclusive club with countries such as China and Russia if they can produce a degree of radar evasion on the TFX. Turkey originally wanted its own F-35s for the Air Force and Navy, and it reportedly wished to order as many as 100 F-35 as. But it was ousted from the Lockheed Martin Partnership Program in 2019 over a disagreement with the United States. The Turkish military had ordered the advanced S-400 surface-to-air missile system from Russia in a major deal worth $2.5 billion, and this annoyed the West. The S-400 was seen as a threat to F-35s flown by Israel. Greece is the problem. Turkey is now tussling with Greece. There has been rhetoric that Ankara would execute some type of attack against Greece. Complicating relations between the two countries is that they are supposed to be allies, since both are members of NATO. The problem has been Erdogan's disapproval of Greece for militarizing islands in the Aegean Sea that the Turks believe to be their territory. Greece is interested in joining the F-35 program and could someday acquire the Lightning II, probably not until 2028 if all the procedural hurdles are met. This has irked Erdogan and made him more interested in hurrying to build the TFX. So, this is an arms race with the Greeks. We'll keep an eye on the TFX to gauge how Turkey progresses with its stealth fighter and to see if Greece is successful in ordering the F-35.